So in this video we're going to talk about what is hexadecimal and just look at the differences between these three different number systems, the binary, the deanery and the hexadecimal. So the smallest um, base of these systems is binary. Now binary is base 2, which simply means it's only got two numbers, uh, that two symbols that represent. So for example, we have just the character 0 and the character 1. This means that once you've, you start off with 0, and then you change it to 1, and then once you've got to 1, you need to start a next column, which would then be representative um, as uh, 1, 0, would be the next highest number. And the next highest number of that would be 1, 1. Um, and so on and so on. So it's just the idea that we've only got two different characters that we can store. Now, with our number system, deanery, some people call it decimal, but deanery is the term I'll be using. We have more than that. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We have these 10 different digits. Although it only goes up to 9, don't forget that we count 0, so we've got 10 different digits that we can represent. And of course, if we get to the point where uh, we've used all of those up, then what we do in our number system is you say, right, well, we've got 1, 0 is the next biggest number, which you can see a similar, actually, system working with binary here. Now, hexadecimal takes things a step further. Hexadecimal. And I'm going to have to write this a bit smaller here. But hexadecimal goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But once it gets to 9, um, it's actually got more characters, more symbols than our traditional deanery system. Um, although they've been a bit lazy and they've stolen from uh, our alphabet system. So we generally then go A, B, C, D, C, F. And you'll notice that we've got 10 characters up to here, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So what we could say is that binary is base 2, deanery is base 10, and hexadecimal is base 16. So you just need to be familiar with these systems. The hexadecimal don't get confused or lost with, oh, when do I start the ABC? It's simply when you would have gone on to the next character. Base 16 is fairly, in my mind, easy to remember because it's one of these um, magical binary numbers that when we create our table, 0, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, it's one of our magic numbers, so it's not too difficult to remember what letter you're going to end up having to go to. But hopefully that gives you some introduction to what is hexadecimal and what is the difference between these different base units.